Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on an Ever After High doll and making it to look like Cindy Lauper. I'll be showing you how I constructed the corset and the face up and putting together all the bits of the final look of the costume. So here I'm using some faux vinyl to put together the corset. I don't usually use a pattern for my corsets because I've just made so many of these for ba the base of uh, a doll costume. So this is a pretty a simple way to put together uh, just the base of a costume that you can embellish to look the way you want. So once I have it fitted around the doll then I'll do these little triangles so I can make it more shapely and then sew those together. And that will just make a much more fitted look. And I put some snaps on the back. I cut off these corners on this one. Sometimes I use them depending on what look I'm going for. And then I cut out a sweetheart neckline for this one. Once I'm done and add the snaps, I always add some sort of trim. And for this one to go with the, the Cindy Lauper look that I'm going for, I added some lace around the top. I also made a skirt and a belt and some other details, so I'll be putting those together later on in this video, so check those out shortly. So for this face up, uh, for the lips, I use this Derwent Pan Pastel, or I usually use Pan Pastels, but I'm using the Derwent Pastels for the lip color. I just didn't have a Pan Pastel that had the lip colors that I was looking for. The supplies that I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links. So anytime that you click on those links to start your shopping session, whatever you purchase may give us a small percentage of what you've bought. So any support you do there is greatly appreciated. So here I'm doing some definition on the ears. And then adding some blush. I was trying to go to, uh, uh, Cindy Lauper's face is so expressive and I just really wanted to try to capture some of her sad expressions. So I did her, her eyes when they are kind of squinted and her lips kind of peer, or what do you call it? They're kind of not duck lipped, but just kind of a more round shape. But I just love Cindy Lauper's face. She's just so beautiful and porcelain looking. She seems to only get better, more beautiful with age too. It's amazing. But um, I just couldn't wait to try to capture some of her features. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. It kind of looks like, it just reminds me of her. So I decided to do her eyes looking to the left. I just wanted her to look a little bit like sad, like she does in a lot of her videos when she's singing with her expressions. So her eyes are blue, but I'm also going in with a little bit of this terracotta Derwent watercolor because I uh, just want to give it some dimension and detail. So even when your eye color is maybe blue or green, it doesn't just have that color in it. Some of them do, I guess, but this one I went with some terracotta. So I'm doing blue. I noticed with her eyes, it was very, her blue is pretty dark around the edges and then fades in towards the pupil. So I darkened up the edges. I'm using a Derwent Metallic. I've mentioned these in my previous videos. It's a Derwent Metallic water soluble pencil. And I just adore those pencils if you want an extra color pop and it gives it a little bit of shimmer. So um, if you don't have those in your arsenal, I would definitely check those out. So I'm just darkening up the layers here. And 
And finally, the pupils. The eyelashes that I gave her on the upper lid were some very soft, um, shorter of the eyelashes that I used just to kind of look more natural. And for her bottom lashes, I did the kind of style that I normally do, but then I, I did them a little bit more slanted out just to kind of go with the squinted eye look. I rooted her with some copper alpaca yarn and some, it was, it's a high, it wasn't hundred percent alpaca, but it was mo probably like 80%. And then I did a streak of yellow, hundred percent alpaca in it just to kind of get that uh, look of how her hairstyle kind of fades into yellow at the ends in some areas. And her eyelashes, I'm just keeping them very small. So like I said, this doll has sold, but I do have a commission spot available at the time that I'm making this video. Uh, but by the time that it's up, I, my commissions may be closed, but l contact me if you're interested in being added to my wait list or shoot me your email address if you'd like to be on my mailing list. And if you're on my mailing list, I send out emails about new, new dolls I've introduced, coupons, savings, um, sales, and uh, just when my commissions are open. So I have an email address in the description box below, or you can contact me on any of the social media sites and just send me your email address and I'll add you to the list. So here are some of the details of the costume. I made that belt with many chains hanging down like this photo here. And then I used some vintage lace and fabric for the trim around the bottom of the skirt. And like I said, in future videos, I will be showing more of the costume construction. I just haven't gotten to those videos yet. They have been recorded. They just haven't been posted. So just stay tuned for those. I will definitely have more costume and hair, con hair recordings going forward. And then adding the belt there. And then at this point I realized I didn't do the bracelets or didn't add the bracelets, so I add those as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye!